Today on the channel is Return to the Kyle Peterson Top 5. In today's video, we're counting down my top 5 Lita figures of all time. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another top five countdown a thursday tradition here on this very youtube channel as every single thursday we're counting down my top five and occasionally top 10 favorites of something and today we've got lita in the crosshairs as lita of course one of the biggest wrestling female stars of all time when you really sit down and think about it is she was there at the boom of kind of the women's revolution in a lot of ways and just recently returning uh, not too long ago teaming with Becky Lynch being a tag team champion of the WWE so I don't think we've had Lita's last match yet and we've had a decent amount of figures from her over the years and I gotta think sometime in the next six months year or something like that once again what is time We'll probably get an updated Lita Elite, I would have to imagine. But of course, we're going to do this countdown like we do all the other countdowns on the channel. We're going to start at number five, work our way to number one, number one being the best. And remember, as usual, this is my list. Put your list in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's get after it. Let's start it off at number five. All right, we kick off the Lita top five with, of course, number five. And the number five one, I went back and forth, back and forth on this one. Finally did say, you know what, this is the one I'm going to do. What is it? Well, we're going to Mattel. We're going to the basic two-pack with Trish Stratus. We're going to Battle Pack Series 64 for that version of Lita. Uh, the most recent Lita figure, I believe, at this time. Uh, and it is more modern-day Lita, which is something different than the rest of the figures here on the list. And like I said at the top, I truly believe we'll get a Lita like this probably in the Elite line eventually. Coming off her run, of course, with Trish Stratus, Becky Lynch, all that kind of fun stuff that was going on. But a modern-day Lita is very, very interesting. It's like Lita, just a, a little bit older is what it is. And it seems like, I don't know about you guys, it feels like we're getting older every single day. Is that true? Somebody check that. Somebody found Fact check time out there. But Lita looking really good. I like the tattoos here. Of course, you got the limited articulation by the basics. Got a more uh, modern day Lita head sculpt face on her here. She's got a fist of fury, a slapping hand. Gold and black attack looking good. It's Lita at the end of the day. And one that barely made the list, but in the final decision, you got to make a decision sometime, came in at number five. So Battle Pack Lita, Trish Stratus 2 Pack Lita, Series 64 coming in at number five. Next up in the countdown, we're at number four. And this time we get a little bit of that adrenaline pumping through our veins from Adrenaline Series 9 2-pack. Once again, this time partnered up with Matt Hardy. We've got Lita from the Jax Ruthless Aggression series. Uh, Jax Ruthless Aggression, the most amount of Lita figures. Some good, some great, some absolutely hot garbage as you can imagine. This one I always did enjoy. I always thought it was good. I love the soft goods baggy jeans on her. Really playing to that effect, of course. Looking good. Got her tattoos at the time. Got her top going on. And as far as Jax goes, the Ruthless Aggression era goes, I think they did a pretty good job on the head sculpt here. I knew this was Lita. Somebody hand me this head. What female is it? I would know this is Lita. Uh, really looks uh, like Lita from her time, of course, with Matt Hardy down around that time frame. No issues with this one, but the soft goods is really what brings this one one to the other level to the next level as I always do say we had a few different soft good leaders but out of all those other ones this one I did prefer I think at the end of the day here and you got the XXX on the back there you got stitching in the front just an all-around good looking Lita figure you could just set your watch to if you really had to if you really had to and that's why this one from the adrenaline series coming in at number four we are already at the halfway point of our top five Lita countdown. Get your list together. Put it in the comments. You know how we roll by now. But number three, the middle of the pack one, is a bit of a surpriser. And dare I say, the shocker of this list and a shocker of a lot of lists. What is number three? Well, we go to Jax. Not a big shocker. But we go to Titan Tron Live. What are we doing here? Titan Tron Live. Mail away version of Lita. Now, 
I am not the Titan Tron Live guy. A lot of people say, and some people have seen the videos, a lot of people haven't seen my videos, where I throw them deep under the bus and say how much I hate the Titan Tron Live figures, how they basically made me quit collecting wrestling figures. Never thought that day would come. I'm not a Titan Tron guy. I'm not a WCW Toy Biz guy. I am not an R3 guy at all. Those are probably my three least favorites. It was a dark time for young Kyle. I wasn't living the life I wanted to live in my wrestling figure fandom. But luckily, we weathered the storm. We came out, and Jax Ruthless Aggression saved the day. I don't care what you say. I love the Jax Ruthless Aggression. But there's a few Titan Trons out there, the Perry Saturns, the Ravens of the world, and even the Lenas of the world that get a pass for me. I've dealt with them all. I've seen them all. But trust me, I was around. I was looking at the store shelves every single day still and just shaking my head in disappointment. But this one always stole my eye, and this was a mail-away figure along the way. Now, I believe this was re-released with a few little tweaks here, so I guess you can kind of insert the other ones here. But I always like the looks of this one because, to me, this feels like Miss Congeniality Lita. Of course, her time in ECW, or you could even say maybe her S.A. Rios time. That's how she debuted, of course, in the WWE back in the day. But something about this one just screams ECW to me, and man, I'm here for ECW all day long and twice on Sunday, but I like this one. Of course, limited articulation with this TTL figure. This is more manager Lita is how I would manage that one here, but you do get the arms that go around. You do get a little elbow, single jointed, hand side to side, a little bit of side to side on the head, nothing at the waist. You get the legs that kind of go in a weird position. One bend in the knee, and that is really it there. Not a ton of mobility here, but you don't really need it for the manager Lita. And she was just doing some moonsaults from time to time at this point, but I'm here for it. Titan Tron Live, who'd have thought? Three, number three in this countdown is Lita, Titantron Live, Mail Away Edition. Dangerously close to the top spot, we're at number two in my... <laughs> Dangerously close to the top spot, we're at number two in my top five Lita countdown. And this time, we go to Mattel, we go to the Elite line, and I believe this is possibly her very last Elite figure. I'd have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure it is the Lita Elite from the Royal Rumble series. Kicking myself after all these years... That I didn't buy two of these. Would have been cool to display with both different heads with her. Unfortunately, I just went with this head. And the other one is in baggies somewhere. I got all my elites in boxes and baggies. I'm not digging it all out. You can see it in the glamour shots here. But looking good. I like this era of Lita. I like this look on Lita. You got the jeans going on. Obviously, the updated articulation from what we were dealing with in number three here to number two. Just an all-around good version of Lita from the Royal Rumble line. And a fairly hard one to find. Those Royal Rumble sets for a while were very, very challenging. And thankfully, found this one. This was a Target exclusive at the time, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But a good version of Lita. Not early Lita, not old Lita. Somewhere in the middle Lita is what we like to call this one. And I do have this one paired up with our old friend Edge from the top ten last week here on the channel. So if you missed the Edge top 10, check that one out. But Melita, Mattel, Elite, Royal Rumble, coming in at number two, which leaves only one left. What's it gonna be? Stay tuned. Like a young boy's demand, we've come to the end of the road at the number one Lita figure of all time as voted by me. Once again, put your list in the comments down below. Put them in order. That's the hard part, but that's also the fun part of these lists. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel as every single Thursday we're doing a top five or top 10 countdown. And also, if you like these countdowns, head on over to the other YouTube channel, Kyle Peterson 2.0, as every single Wednesday, as of right now, we're doing a top five list of things that are a little different off the beaten path. Check out that channel. Check out this channel. Check them both out. Subscribe to both of them. And of course, like the video always helps the channel. But here we are. We've come to number one. What does it take to be number one? We're going to find out right now is the number one leader of all time as voted by me. Once again, we go to Mattel. We go to the Elite line. We go to Elite Series 41 Lita. And I have to imagine everybody that puts one of these lists together has to have this somewhere in their top five. I don't know how you couldn't. Uh, her first Elite figure, uh, a two-in-one in some ways. She did come with a white top. She came with a fishnet top. Uh, definitely Hardy Boys era Lita is what I think of with this one here, the black baggy pants. Got the little thong show in there. That was Lita's move. Oh, that was a, just an awesome move back in the day. All the guys loved it. I can speak for all the guys out there. We all love the thong uh, poke out there in Lita's uh, matches and stuff. But Lita, a trendsetter, definitely iconic heart of Lita's career, I would say. I guess depends who you ask. Is it the Hardy Boys timers or time with Edge? 
I guess you can go either way with that. But for me, when I first think of Lita, I always think of her time with the Hardy Boys first. Maybe I'm different. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm somewhere in the middle, most likely. That's the way it goes. But Mattel Elite coming in hot at number one. And like I said, it's got to be on everybody's list somewhere in there. Just an all-around good figure with plastic goods, soft goods. Can't ask for much more from a Lita like this one. And I got to think some of these Lita's either a new one or an updated one I could see in the Legends line, Greatest Hits line, something like that in the future. I feel like there's more Lita's we could get. And I think it's about time for a new Lita Elite, be it a current day one or a throwback one to one of the other lines. So we'll see. We'll keep our eye on the prize and see what happens with Lita here in the next uh, year or so. How about? There it is. Though, at the end of the day, we're done. That's the Lita Top 5. Remember, put your list in the top five Lita figures in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, or I should say channels. Don't forget about Patreon for early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, you name it. But best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram and on threads. So for the top five Lita figures of all time, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.